Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about using fundamental trigonometric identities in proving. In the last video, we have determined the 8 fundamental trigonometric identities to be divided into 3 subgroups such as reciprocal identities, quotient identities, and Pythagorean identities. The reciprocal identities are cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta, secant theta equals 1 over cosine theta, cosecant theta equals 1 over sine theta. For the quotient identities, we have the following. Tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta, cotangent theta equals cosine theta over sine theta, and for the Pythagorean identities, we have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1, 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta, and cotangent squared theta plus 1 equals cosecant squared theta. There is no general rule in proving identities, but we can use the following guidelines to help us prove trigonometric identities. First, work on more complicated side of the identity and try to simplify it to an expression which is equal to the other side. Next, algebraic manipulations such as factoring, simplifying complex fractions, rationalizing the numerator or the denominator, and multiplying by the conjugate term can be used to simplify trigonometric expressions. And finally, if both sides of the identity are complicated, try to rewrite the expressions in terms of sine and cosine functions. Then try to simplify each expression to make both sides equal. Remember that when we prove trigonometric identities, it is very important to show at the end of the proof that the left side is equal to the right side of the equation. Let us try this example. Prove the identity cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha is equal to cosine raised to 4 alpha minus sine raised to 4 alpha. Looking on both sides of the equation, notice that it seems that the right side is more complicated than that of the left side. Hence, let us try to manipulate the right side of the equation and show that it is equal on the left side of the equation. So let us rewrite first the given cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha equals cosine raised to 4 alpha minus sine raised to 4 alpha. Using factoring, the right side can be written as sum and difference of two factors. So cosine raised to 4 alpha minus sine raised to 4 alpha alpha is equal to cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha times cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. Next, using the Pythagorean identity, remember that this expression here is actually equal to 1. Hence, we're gonna have 1 times cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. Multiplying the two, we will arrive at cosine squared alpha minus sine squared alpha. Notice now that the left side of the equation is equal to the right side of the equation. Hence, the given forms an identity. Let us take a look at this example. Prove the identity secant squared theta plus cosecant squared theta is equal to secant squared theta times cosecant squared theta. This time, let us try to manipulate the left side of the equation and show that it is equal to the right side of the equation. Let us rewrite first the given. Express first secant squared theta and cosecant squared theta in terms of sine and cosine. So we're going to have 1 over cosine squared theta plus 1 over sine squared theta. 
equals to this. Next, add the two fractions. When we add the two fractions, since we do not have common denominator, then determining the common denominator, we need to multiply them. So, cosine squared theta times sine squared theta. So, cosine squared theta times sine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta is equal to sine squared theta times 1. So, this would be sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta times sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta is cosine squared theta times 1 is also cosine squared theta then equals to this one. Using Pythagorean identity, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Hence, we're going to have here 1 all over cosine squared theta, sine squared theta equals to this. Then, this one can be expressed as product of two fractions. 1 over cosine squared theta times 1 over sine squared theta. So, equals to this. And finally, using reciprocal identities, 1 over cosine squared theta is actually equal to secant squared theta and 1 over sine squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. Notice now that the left side is equal to the right side of our equation. Hence, the given forms an identity. For the last one, let us prove the identity cosine beta minus sine beta times cosine beta plus sine beta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared beta. In this case, it seems that we need to manipulate both sides of the equations simultaneously. So let us rewrite first our given. So we have here cosine beta minus sine beta times cosine beta plus sine beta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared beta. This one on the left side, since this is multiplication of binomial expressions, we can use the FOIL method. So cosine beta times cosine beta is cosine squared beta. Then cosine beta times sine beta is cosine beta, sine beta. Then sine negative sine beta times cosine beta is negative sine beta, cosine beta. Then finally, negative sine beta times positive sine beta is negative sine squared beta. Equals, using Pythagorean identity, sine squared beta is actually equal to 1 minus cosine squared beta. So we can change it into 1 minus 2 times 1 minus cosine squared beta. Next, on the left side, going back on the left side rather, Notice that this is this expression is equal to 0, so we can cancel it, giving us with cosine squared beta minus sine squared beta is equal to, multiply 2 on this binomial, giving us with 1 minus 2 plus 2 cosine squared beta. Next. Since we have here on the right side cosine squared beta, but here we have sine squared beta, then it would be better for us to express sine squared beta in terms of cosine squared beta. So once again, using the Pythagorean identity, sine squared beta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared beta. So we're gonna have cosine squared beta minus 1 minus cosine squared beta equals then this one let's simplify so we will have 1 minus 2 plus 2 cosine squared beta 1 minus 2 will give us negative 1 plus 2 cosine squared beta finally on this side multiply this binomial by a negative number negative 1 rather so we're gonna have cosine squared beta minus 1 plus cosine squared beta equals negative 1 plus 2 cosine squared beta. Then next, we have your cosine squared beta plus cosine squared beta. So that would be negative 1 plus 2 cosine squared beta 
equals negative 1 plus 2 cosine squared beta. At the end, we have proof that the given is an identity since the left side is equal to the right side. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about sum and difference identities. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next video.